I'm more pleased that, that this, my A rating, which I got for the first time in 2012, was the first A rating at UWC. So that makes me more pleased because UWC is a university that has had to recover from the ravages of apartheid. It's, uh, it was set up by the apartheid regime to fail, so to speak, like all the apartheid-created universities except for the privileged white ones. And UWC has been struggling to overcome that legacy and has been succeeding. And in particular, UWC has been able to build uh, a really strong astronomy research group, and I'm very happy to have been part of that, almost from nothing. Um, and so the first time that UWC has received an A rating was, was with my award in 2012, and that made me pleased because it, it was an advertisement for the success of science and astronomy research at UWC that, that made me happy. Uh, these A rating, these awards, A, B, C rating awards, um, they last for six years. So I had to reapply in 2017 and, and I successfully got the A rating again in 2018. So that makes me a bit happy, I suppose. I'm lucky to be doing my research at a special time for science uh, in South Africa and in Africa. And what's special for me is that the Square Kilometre Array is being built here in South Africa. Now, yeah, those of you who have never heard of the SKA, the Square Kilometre Array, this is the world's biggest astronomy experiment. And it's by far the biggest science experiment ever to be built in Africa. And it's being built here in South Africa, near Kanaan. Already South Africa has built the first 64 dishes. These are huge radio telescope dishes. They're 14 meters in diameter. They're like giant DSTV dishes. And they're mounted on huge pedestals and they can point anywhere in the sky. There's 64 of them. And it's, uh, it's been completed this year. It was inaugurated by the Deputy President. And those 64 dishes will be complemented by another 133 dishes over the next 5 to 10 years to form the first phase of the SKA. So my research is related to this massive radio telescope. Uh, the SKA will be able to do many, many things in astronomy, but the thing that I'm interested in is to study the universe as a whole. When you look out at the night sky, as all of you must have done, you will see thousands upon thousands of stars if you're far enough away from night pollution. But those stars, nearly all of them, are inside our own galaxy. And if you have a telescope, you can look beyond our galaxy to see other galaxies. And if you have a strong enough telescope, you can start to see not only hundreds, not only thousands, but millions and even billions of other galaxies. And that's what I'm interested in. I'm interested in looking at maps of the universe created by telescopes like the Square Kilometre Array, where we can record the position in the sky and the distance away from us of millions and billions of galaxies. So we can form this huge map of the universe. And what I and my research team do is to look at the patterns in this distribution of galaxies because they contain a fossil record of the birth of the universe. The universe, we believe, started about 14,000 million years ago. And in the first fraction of a second of the birth of the universe, some of the key properties of the universe were imprinted. And that those imprints remain in, frozen into the pattern of how galaxies are distributed uh, relative to each other. So my research aims to unlock some of these fossil records that we see and what we need to do is to, to have this map of the galaxy so that we can analyse the pattern of how the galaxies cluster together. And perhaps the other thing, if I have time, just to add that in, in addition to finding fossil imprints of the, the birth of the universe, the pattern of galaxies also tells us a bit about dark energy, which is something I'm very interested in. And dark energy, for those who haven't heard of it, is a mysterious energy field actually located in the vacuum between the galaxies, which is causing the galaxies to move away from each other faster and faster. 
In other words, dark energy is accelerating our universe. And the pattern of galaxies shows us properties of dark energy that we can measure so that we can find out about the dark energy by mapping these, these galaxies through the SKA and other telescopes. And I'm very interested in the, in the dark energy, trying to understand more about dark energy.